Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, one way to debug the Matomo tracking code. Um, so I got this case with a client of mine. So the thing is the following one. I have my tracker over here that's, um, uh, that's a pixel tracker, just the request in itself. So the most basic uh, tracker of Matomo analytics, as you can see, uh, the tracker is sent properly. I'm getting it uh, over here. So I get my request that is 200. Everything looks okay, the browser is fine, and uh, when I look at the visit log, I get uh, nothing in there. And I can debug as much as I as I want through the browser, I won't get uh, the solution, in fact, to this uh, to this issue. Okay, it's still not working, it's still not sending data to, uh, to Matomo, so I have no idea what to do. And by chance, I have a good friend of mine named Lucas who helped me. Um, find another way of debugging the Matomo tracker. So you can find it uh, straight away through the documentation of Matomo explaining you that you need to access to a file in the config.ini.php file and add uh, this uh, tracker thing in order to change and convert Matomo within the uh, debug mode and give you more explicit information about what's going on. So that's that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to access uh, to my server, so to, uh, to my terminal, and uh, I think it should be config. And when I'm within there, I can just um, try to edit this given file. Okay, so I'm in there. Uh, now all I need is uh, all I need is just to add the given line that I was showing you over here. Okay, I'm just doing this. By doing this, I'm entering within the uh, the debug mode. Uh, so to say, when I'm going back um, on Matmo, it's clearly saying, okay, pay attention. The debug mode is enabled. So for security reason, uh, you should actually uh, disable it. So. Uh, now let's see uh, how it looks like. So if I refresh the page, I'm getting in fact um, all of this. And if I read carefully uh, what's going on over here, it's telling me okay, um, blah, blah, blah. It's telling me a lot of things. And out of those things, it's telling me at one point, do, 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 um, okay. Um, Okay, here it's saying that it's it's giving up something. Okay, and here you get it. Unknown URL is not allowed to track. So to say, it's trying to tell me um, that it does not have the authorization to write because of this given URL. Uh, so I didn't know, in fact, how to interpret this because Matomo is not clearly telling you which setting or something which is wrong. So you need to read between the lines. And in fact, here, what is trying to tell me a known URL is not allowed to track means that there is a setting within Matomo that I just ticked in order to say I don't want this URL to be tracked. And um, and Lucas told me that this setting can be found directly uh, when uh, one manage the website. So for example, this one. In fact, over here, only track visit and action when the action URL starts with one of the above URL mean exactly what uh, the error is saying. Okay, so you, this is why you, you just need uh, to read between the line because this is exactly what is what is happening over here. And if you refresh the thing, you see that you get a total different uh, message, um, which in fact saying that everything goes fine. And if you just refresh, then you get uh, the uh, URL executed properly. So of course, afterwards you need to uh, go back over here, uh, set it to O, I guess, and then to refresh in order for the debug mode to be uh, disabled. Or I guess you can just remove the lines. And that's everything that I wanted to show you uh, today. So regarding this technique that I haven't used uh, before and I just use for a client and it worked really well and helped me to understand what was going wrong. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.